going to discuss about the Union and Union All Operator in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So and here this is my two table. So this two table I am going to combine. So let's see the records inside the table EMP1 and EMP2. So in EMP1 this is the record and EMP2 so this is the record. So about the union operator, so it returned only unique record and distinct record. But union all operator, so it uh, returned duplicate record and record uh, should be in unsorted format. So let's see by example. So at here, let's write select a statement, select and here selecting. So the column is ID, the first column is ID and hereafter name and hereafter email and uh, hereafter let's use from clause and here taken from EMP table and hereafter let's use union operator and uh, let's copy this particular line and paste it down and here give emp2 so if you execute this query so see at here or uh, total so this all records its coming records is in sorted format or listing and if you execute this query EMP1. So this is the record 1001, uh, 1002, 1003, and here up to 5002, 5001, 1002. So add here 1002 and 1002. So this is a duplicate. So if you combine, so add here this is the duplicate. So but if you are using union operator, so union operator only return distinct record and uh, the add here id must be sorted format so let's use this term union record so union operator let's use union or and if you uh, execute this query so first that or uh, display uh, emp1 record so this is the emp1 record still there and hereafter this is emp2 record so that means union all also uh, add your id so this is unsorted format and here 102 and this is a duplicate record so union all uh, union all operator that record that display or that return or uh, duplicate record and here the uh, record in unsorted form so this is the first difference and here of two let's see one more difference so if you execute this query so this is the records so this all is in sorted format and unique record and here after let's uh, click on display estimated execution prompt so this is the uh, uh, steps of execution so at your select and here after sort after that here concatenation after that here or uh, emp1 and emp2 so at here cost is 80 percent and here the cost is 80 percent and here the sort so union operator first that do or uh, sorting sorting the records after that that do the concatenation so if you go to the sorting, so at here see physical operation sort, logical operation, testing sort, estimate execution mode row, and here estimate operation cost 63%. And here this is the IO cost, and here after CPU cost, so it takes CPU subtree cost, and here after number of execution, this is only one, and here the most important in point is. Uh, estimate number of rows so this is 5 to 2 and here estimate row size so at here it's taking 33p so that means 
or if you are using union operator so you need your operator first that to the sorting after that that to the concatenation and here it select union all and here click on display estimated from so at here first that select and here uh, it's a directly concatenate and here 50 percent cost for uh, or EMP1 and EMP2 so here there is no any chance or the any, there is no any point for sorting so that means if you are going for performance so which or uh, give a better performance union or union or so uh, if in the point of union and union or so union or give better performance and the execution time must be a faster so if you take the cursor at this point so see at your directly concatenation concatenation and here after estimated number of rows so this is a six only so if you uh, if in your table has the huge record huge record like uh, millions of records in your table so if you are using union or union operator so union operator first that to the sorting so that to the sorting that means that take lots of times after the sorting that concatenate and if you are using union or so there is no any chance for sorting so you can combine two or three table four tables and if you have millions of records so uh, uh, that combine all uh, in quick times compare them or uh, union so union or faster so this is the thing but the main point is union all that combine all the records or duplicate records also so this is the second important point so union operator performance slower than union all and here after let's see other example so I am going to copy this column so this query and after let's paste it down and here after I am going to concatenate EMP sorry dpt table record so let's see the record of dpt table so select extra from escort dot dpt and let's execute so total numbers of columns are 3 now here after I am going to combine one more or column add here so simply copy and paste this so that will work if you execute this query so this will work so first that to do the sorting so add here 10 20 30 so it's a ascending order so add here this is the records of dpt table and here this is the record of EMP1 and here this is the record here EMP2 so if you are using union all and if you execute the same query the same or the output will come and there are no any errors but here are the records in unsorted formats and duplicate record so this is the records this is the things here and here after if I here after I'm going to uh, so you want more table and here I'm going to use EMP table EMP table so this is the records and this is the total numbers of columns are 8 so and here this time going to use and here EMP table and let's execute this query so and here I'm getting the error message all queries combined using union intersection or exam so operator must have equal number of expression so that means add here or uh, three columns add here three columns so it's okay but add here a star so this EMP table has the eight columns so that here it's the returning error so for this 
let's execute that one and here this time going to select three column from the EMP and here EMP so EMP number it's integer time and here E name so it's a wildcat and your job so if you execute this query so this will work properly so see right here this will work properly but the output is not okay so email and here email it's coming or like job title those things and here if you give union so this will also work So this will also work here. So this is the thing and one important point. Let's copy this to and here paste it down. So and here if you execute this query, so this will give you a suitable design. And here in place of ID, I'm going to put first name and here ID. Let's give and here in second position and if you execute this query so let's see what happened so I am getting the error message conversion failed when con converting the vacuum or uh, sam so here data type error so at your id is integer and name is vacuum so you cannot concatenate a vacuum with integer so this that's why here it's I'm getting the error. So let's give at an ID and here in last I'm going to give name. So at your name, so this is a vacuum email, it's a vacuum. But here name is a different. Here email is vacuum, name is vacuum. So only the name or different, but tier time same. So if you execute this query, so this will work. Here that what the thing is in name so it's the email it's coming and email it's the name is coming but that what there is no idea the same thing so let's use undo operator so here the same thing with union all so at here if you give name first id second the same problem will come or data type in data type problem so you cannot uh, concatenate it is uh, with back so this is the things about union and union all so at here about the union one time going to refer union or uh, operator that give you sorted record and record or uh, must be unique but at a union all operator so it give unsorted record and uh, record or uh, must not be unique so whatever the record in EMP or uh, table EMP1 table EMP2 table as EMP table here as got here as got dot debit table so that combine all the records so that do not take whatever the unique duplicate on sorted so that blindly combine all the records from the table and here after oh, the third important point is so performance the so performance so if you have use or a huge record inside the tables so by performance wise union operator or takes union operators slow because it takes lots of time to sort the record after sorting that concatenate but here the union all there is no any chances of sorting so directly that concatenate so that here or uh, this tick lets lesser timer than union operator and here after so this is the constant if you are using if you are using three column at here so you so you must have to give three columns then that works if you give uh, four or five columns so then the error come and here in add here so here the 
data type must be same so integer combined with integer name or uh, may be different but at your data type must be same so if not same then the, this error come conversion failed so this is the thing about union and union or operator in microsoft sql server management studio so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you